Y'all may not know who these individuals are in this picture right here, but you definitely are familiar with his son because I've done various videos about him in the past. These are Otto Warmbier's parents, Fred and Cindy Warmbier. And right now, they seem to be, to me, acting more and more like the Goldman family. Every time something happens with OJ, here they come in the media wanting to talk about something. And they are basically like them. Every time something happens with North Korea or specifically Kim Jong-un, then they are going to pop up. Because you already know the story. You know, I don't have to run it down. Now, the last time I talked about Otto Warmbier's parents, they were asking for this huge lump sum of money. And when I say huge, I'm talking about hundreds of millions of dollars. I can't remember the exact price. Um, well, not price, but the exact range it was, but it was well over a hundred million dollars. I think it was over two hundred million dollars. And I'm looking at them like, yeah, they ain't getting that money. And judging by how they um have putting themselves out there lately, I don't think they actually got it. People looked at that and probably was just laughing and was like, go sit down somewhere. But anyway, they're back. Reason being, as you all know, uh, 45 went over and he spoke with Kim Jong Un. And they are not happy about it because they feel that Donald Trump should have went over there and made some noise about what happened to their son. And, you know, uh, tried to pull, I guess, try to pull something out of Kim Jong Un. Listen, I don't know what 45 went over there to speak with him about, but I'm very sure him going over there had nothing to do with discussing Otto Warmbier. As a matter of fact, I think they actually were pissed off at some things that Donald Trump said. Not so much said, but um, I guess you could say that because he said that he asked Kim Jong Un about Otto Warmbier and Kim Jong Un responded to him and saying that he had no responsibility for his death. He took that in stride. Donald Trump relayed back to, to the people what he said, and I don't think that set well with his parents. Well, at this point, who cares what sits well with their parents? And this right here is going into the whole thing of not accepting responsibility or accountability for your actions. And now, even in in death, they have to try to remain on code for their son. They still remain or still hold on to the son's innocence of him not doing anything that warranted him being tortured and then him later dying he went over to north korea with a tour group god only knows why listened to some foreigner messed with a banner over there that was sacred sacred on um, property he must have thought he was still in the states and he had to face the consequences for it. he had to get the punishment they're sitting up here acting like they personally single-handedly singled out their son to torture as if they don't do this to anybody else over there you think that if they can do that to their own people what makes you think they're going to do to an outsider especially a white american male they already think americans are spoiled in the first damn place so when they asked for that money i was like that ain't happening and when what they're talking about right now that's going to fall on deaf ears too just accept the responsibility on your son's behalf and move on from that. Isn't that what they try to tell us? They always try to tell us that we need to move on. Or whenever something happens to our black youth or black people in general, it's somehow our fault. We we always got to be the, the um in a position where the victim is dead and the victim gets blamed for every damn thing. Not saying that every victim deserves to be innocent but let's be real here a lot of times when stuff happens to us it's warranted from it's not so much warranted from us but it's thrown onto us from pressure from another entity Otto Warmbier knew exactly what he was doing and that's why he is he got his comeuppance what is a saying that they love to always put out there especially when it comes to us play stupid games win stupid prizes well, the same applies to their son. I don't feel anything for their son. I can't stress that enough. And I don't feel anything for his parents. It makes you wonder what kind of people his parents are. What way do they lean politically? I wonder if they were Trump supporters. And something tells me they probably are because they come from a place of disappointment. Whenever someone says they're disappointed in you, that means that they were probably a fan or a supporter of yours at one point And you've done something to piss them off. 
or to rub you the wrong way or turn you off about them. So nine times out of ten, I would not be surprised if they voted for Trump back in 2016. Which ironically, I think was... Oh, I don't know if it was the year that Otto Warmbier did what he did or it was um the year after in 2017 when he did it. But I know it was in close quarters because I remember reporting on that story in March of one of those two years. I think it was 2017. So it wasn't too long after the election. And I wouldn't be surprised if Otto Warmbier himself voted for Trump. So this whole tirade or saying that uh, North Korea need, or Kim Jong Un needs to accept responsibility for his son's death. That ain't happening. And that's not me coming to the defense of North Korea or Kim Jong Un or even 45. That's just common sense. When you go over to another an, another native land that you probably don't even know about, which, by the way, would be silly because you're supposed to research the customs before going over to certain places or any place for that matter. You should know their rules and regulations. Whatever you do over here cannot and will not fly over there. Hell, I can't even go into Canada doing half the stuff that I would want to do here in the States. They have rules and regulations. You have to follow them. They have certain laws. Just because we all on the same continent don't mean we all have the same values. And that is that. That's all I really have to say on, on that. But y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.